So recently, NBA 2K24 has become free on Xbox Game Pass and PS Plus. And now that you have the game, you are trying to figure out how to max your badges fast, get some quick PC if you need it, and also get your overall up to 99. And I got you. Just sit back and relax and your girl got you covered. So if you are new, hit that subscribe button and drop a like for your girl and let's get right into it. If it's your first time loading into the park, you will load here. If it's not, then this doesn't pertain to you. So what you want to do is go to Sunset Park. If you don't know where that is, just go to the map and scroll down on the left hand side until you see Sunset Park. And you can either set a waypoint or hit R1 on PlayStation or RB on Xbox to find the nearest station. Once you get in the station, go to City West. Once you come out, you will follow the route I am taking and you will get to Sunset Park. There will be a guy here named Young Wayne if you haven't talked to him. Talk to him and you're good to go. Again, if you are brand new to the game or just haven't played the parks at all and haven't played anybody yet, I recommend playing 5 0 first because he's great at defense and you can use him early on. Trust me. Once you beat him and unlock him to use, I recommend you play Rod and Rodney next because the goal is to throw a lot of lobs to go towards getting your overall up because you will get 15k my points and that's a lot for a 3 to 5 minute game. Just throw about 7 lobs to be safe, turnovers do not matter. So once you beat both of them, I will play Disco next and I'm going to tell you why right now. So when you play Disco, it's against all small guards and you can shoot right over them to get your shooting badges. And if you are big or have a build with high block or rebound, you can get a lot of blocks and rebounds as well. You pretty much just keep doing whatever badge you need over and over until you get it maxed out. So like for me, I'm on my lockdown build currently and I need to work on mini magician, blinders, guard up, even though I don't know how it works still. No judgments. I also need to work on challenger, clamps, and interceptor, but I can't until I max out the attributes for them. So most people starting out will be in the same boat that I am right now. Once you max out the attributes, just come back to the park and max the badges out that you want. So in this gameplay, I'll show you guys a lot. So first play the game, I get a block, and then I get another block. So of course that goes towards your anchor badge and also pogo stick, I believe. I do not have that badge, that's why it didn't pop up for me. Right here, I'm just trying to go for minis to get my mini magician badge up. And it's a little harder for me because I have no ball handle on this build, but if you do, all you have to do is fade. I eventually get the timing down to fade, as you can see right here, and I'm all good to go. If you have no fade, just hit a standstill shot just like the one I just did right here. If you need glove, you know what to do. Just spam that square button on PlayStation or the X button on Xbox. Right here, I get another block. Run down, pull up midi, just that easy. For green machine, you just have to green your first two shots, I believe. Don't quote me, y'all. I'm probably wrong and it will activate. Just look up at the box in the right hand corner to see when it pops up. Dead eye, just shoot the ball in their face continuously. That badge is pretty easy to get, pretty self-explanatory. To get easy blocks on Disco, just back up a little bit and wait till he drives and once you learn the timing, it's an instant block almost every time. For bigs, honestly just stand there and jump and you will get a block. Catch and shoot and Claymore are self-explanatory, just catch the ball and shoot consistently. For Claymore, you have to be standing in a spot for a minute for it to activate. For blinders, this is the perfect example right here. Just make sure the defender is on the side of you and blinders will activate. So either side of you and it should pop up. So now that we got a few badges out of the way, for now, let's talk about how to get the 15K my points. So in order to get the 15K my points, the easiest way is by throwing lobs. If you use Rodney and 5 it doesn't matter who sets the screen because they both can dunk. If you are only playing with one of them, then you will have to tap L1 on PlayStation or LB on Xbox and then hold the icon button so that 5 or Rodney can come set you a screen. For example, in this case, 5 is square, so I hold square and he comes to set me the screen. Again, you have to throw at least six or seven lobs. I can't remember honestly, but just throw seven to be sure. For the players that have post control on their builds, I have here my guard build with a 92 post control. And so my main badges are post fade phenom, post spin when I use it, mini magician, and so on. It's all in how you play, but in this gameplay, I will be showing you guys how to get post fade phenom, which is simple. Just back down a defender. You can also get back down punisher while doing this as well if you need it. And you just do a post fade, super simple enough. You simply just hold L2 on PlayStation or LT on Xbox to back down. And usually I just hold the left stick, left or right to fade, and press the square or X button to shoot. But there's lots of other ways. You can do post hops, etc. If you need to get post man, it's super simple as well. Just back down again and then take your right stick and either go clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on which side of the court you're on. If you like to do a lot of acrobatic layups, then two step is the badge for you. You literally double tap square, 
or X and that badge will activate. Just spam it over and over. The park is on rookie, so most of the time it will go in. But Challenger is super simple as well. Just close out without fouling, of course, and that badge will activate. That one progresses pretty fast. Now I'm on my big to show you guys how to get rise up, drop stepper, etc. It's kind of an all-in-one thing. Again, play against Cisco and pretty much back him down or whoever you're guarding and move and hold the left stick left or right and then tap square or X to get the drop step animation. If you keep doing that, you're killing two birds with one stone. You're activating drop stepper and rise up at the same time. And honestly, you're activating back down punisher as well. You can also activate fast switch pretty easily as well. As you can see, every shot I go up with and make, it's activating the badge, literally every shot. In this possession, fast switch and rise up activated. So just keep spamming that and you will max out those badges in no time. You also have the badge perks. These will help you max out your badges fast as well. Overdrive is an increase in badge level progression while playing games. So pretty much what I do is put the badges I need first in here that I can get. I honestly need to change these around, but just make sure you put the badges that you need that caters to your playstyle. So you just click on each tier badge and pick whatever one you want. Immunity is slower badge level regression. So that means to me, in my opinion, when I max out the badges I use the most from having them in overdrive, I put them in the immunity so that they don't regress as fast. As you can see, I don't have any drill, savant, if that's how you even tell him not to say it. That's how you know I don't go in the team practice facility. But if you do, your badge level progression via drills receive an increase. For Winter Circle, there's a significant increase in badge progression for games won in the city, rec, and pro-am, but you have to unlock them all to be able to utilize them. You also have floor status, and if you have played each season and hit level 40, you should have all five seasons available to equip a badge. These are permanent and cannot be changed, but are clutch because you never have to worry about your badges regressing. And you can also filter through the tiers to put on the badge you would like. Before I end the video, I don't want to forget to mention you always have Macarena as a backup. If you enjoy playing Macarena and have them unlocked, you can utilize the performance multipliers for the NBA. There's three of them. Grade A student, which is your badge progression will be accelerated if you finish with the A minus teammate grade. Winner takes all is in the result of a win, your badge level progression will be accelerated. And up for the challenge, which is games against tough opponents, the badge level progression will be accelerated. So once you unlock these performance multipliers by doing the quest for them, then you can definitely utilize them in my career if you like playing, obviously, my career. In my opinion, playing at Sunset Park is the best. You know, it's the quickest, fastest, easiest, all of the above, but it's always personal preference. Whatever you guys feel is best for you. But even though I didn't go through every single badge, most of them are self-explanatory. Like for example, for posterizer, just meter dunk if you have a high enough driving dunk, just hold R2 on PlayStation or RT on Xbox and go up and then down on the right stick to get the meter, just to name one of them. But I hope today's video helped you guys out. I know it's almost April, but we still have five months left until 2K25. So if you're having fun on the game, don't let anyone deter you. Do you, all right? If you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Go watch this best jump shot video and always stay blessed. Thank you.